Welcome to NixNoob. In this video, we're going to look at KRename. KRename is a great batch file renaming utility created by KDE. If you're running a KDE-based distro, it'll be available in your package manager. So I'm just going to go open Discover and type in KRename. And you can see I already have that installed. You can also install it from your um, from a terminal by just typing in sudo app get install krename. And again, I already have this installed, so that's not going to do anything. But once you have krename installed, um, I believe this is still the case. Um, let me just go to like a pictures directory, phone pictures, all right. And um, if I select a couple of files here and right click, by default in, in a KDE 6, it doesn't integrate into your um, right click uh, service menu, um, but we can fix that really easily. Um, we can still go open with and say other applications and type in krename. And then that would open that in krename, and you can see that we have those files selected. And I'll go through this, um, but basically we have um, the files that we're going to rename, the destination where we want those to go. Um, by default, it's just going to rename the input files directly. Um, we've got plugins that we can use tokens from these plugins to you know, rename the file, and then we've got a rename, and we can do our prefix, suffix, our file name, extensions, and then we can also do multiple file and replace, and we can also use tokens in any part of this. Um, but first, let's get that integrated into our service menu. So I'm just going to close that, and I'm going to close this, and then um, basically I have a Obsidian note to myself here on how to fix this. Um, Basically, the, the KDE 5 service menus are going to be in user share K services 5 service menus. And I believe that is still where KDE is installing its service menus. So I can just copy this, copy this, and we can go look at that. I'm just going to open a terminal here and zoom way in. And we'll just CD to that directory. Whoops, CD. And then take a look in there. So here's our KD, our, our K service five uh, menus, um, our service menus. And we just need to put those in our, um, the new path for KDE six. Um, so here I only have these two files. Um, if you had a bunch more then this, this fix would fix those as well. It'll take all your service menus from KDE five and make them available in KDE six. Um, if you don't want to do that, if you just want to do the K rename, then we would just alter this command and type K rename star instead. Since I only have the two K rename items in my, um, K service five menu, I can just do everything in that, um, you know, in that directory. So I'm just going to copy that command and paste that in here, paste and hit enter. And then I need to type in my password. So now um, that should fix it. And I will put uh, put this command in the, in the show notes. Um, so now I should be able to open my uh, pictures directory again. And uh, there we go. Phone. And now if I take this top row here and go right click, um, we've got K uh, rename with K rename as a service menu now. Um, so I'm just going to select that. And um, let's make a temporary directory. Let's say let's say I want to rename all of my photos and I want to rename them with the date and time that the photo was taken and the model number from the camera. But I don't want to rename my actual photos. Um, let's say um, like I R sync my phone directory, which I do. Um, so I don't want to rename those. Otherwise, the R sync would, you know, bring in uh duplicate files. So I'm just going to go up a directory and I'm going to create a new directory and just call it, uh, call it phone, uh, renamed or renamed pictures, renamed pics. All right. So now I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to select, uh, 
bunch of these photos and I'm going to go um, open or rename with K rename. So the first tab here is the files that are going to be renamed and it shows you this here in the file name too. Uh, this basically shows you what the original name was and what the new name is going to be. Um, the second tab allows us to set our destination. So I can say create symbolic links and do that in my phone, my rename pics folder, say OK. And now for plugins, these are all the plugins that it has, and this makes tokens available to the rename command. And we have basically EXIF data. Um, so if I click EXIF data, there are a ton of these, but basically uh, we have we have tokens for the image orientation, for the compression. We have GPS, latitude and longitude. If we have our phone taking latitude and longitude, we have whether the flash was on or not. Basically just a ton of information here that we can use to rename our photos. Um, I have already put in the tokens I want for renaming these. Um, so it, instead of going uh, use original file name, if I, if I come here to custom name, it's going to have a drop down with what I've used in the past. Um, so once you've used this to rename files, you'll have a drop down, you know, with previous previous token, you know, combinations that you've you've done in the past. So here I'm doing the photo date time of the original photo and then the model of the camera. So I'm just going to select this. Now this can create duplicate file names. If I took two pictures at the exact same time with the exact same, you know, same phone or, or camera. Um, so we can also tell it to add a suffix of a number and that's just going to, um, let's see, can I also make it put a dash in there? Uh, nope, that's dash that I want the number and then a dash um, doesn't look like it lets me do that, but I can do that right here. I can just say put a dash at the end of that. There we go. So now we've got our numbers and let's say I want my numbers to start with uh, like zero, zero. Um, so I'm just going to have it have three numbers. So I get zero, 10, 11, and I don't want that to start with 10. I want that to start with one. So you can see how you can see how flexible this is, and um, basically I'm adding a number to every one of these. But we've got the date it was taken in the camera, and we're not renaming our files. We are creating symbolic links in a different folder and renaming those, and those are going to point at the original photos. So if I say finish here, that just did that. If I close that and go up to this uh, rename pics, you can see we have all of these renamed with the date they were taken, date, time, and the uh, name of the, you know, the, the model of the camera that was used, and then also our, our number that we added. So that's, that's really cool. Um, we can also, if we were just wanting to rename files in place, uh, let me just make a new folder here called test. And I'm just going to grab a couple of these photos and copy them there because we want to actually rename these in place and not create some links. So there we go. Paste those. And so I'm just going to copy all those or select all of those and say rename with K rename. And for this, I'm just going to uh, play around with the file name. Um, I've already showed you how you can create a prefix with a number or a date. Um, for the file name, we can go um, change that. We can convert it to lowercase if we wanted to. Um, for the extension, same thing. We can convert that to uppercase, lowercase. We could change the extension if we wanted to. Let's say we needed that to be JPEG instead of JPG. We could do that. Um, I don't need to do that. Um, we also have find and replace. So here we have um, image which is img underscore. Let's say we wanted to replace that. I can just add a find and replace and say img and let's replace that with dash image dash and say OK. As soon as we say OK, we can see our result, like what it's going to be renamed to immediately, um, which is nice. So you're getting a you're getting a preview of what the rename is going to be before you do it. Um, then I can also um, 
make that a regular expression and we can add as many find replaces. So let's say we wanted to make that 2025, uh, just nothing, 2025. We can just say replace that with nothing, okay. So now you can see that that 2025 went away, but now we have two dashes. Let's say we don't want that. We can go add and say find two dashes, replace that with a single dash. Okay, okay, you can see that that dash went away. Maybe we wanna use a regular expression. We can say find you know anything that's uh, three digits or more. So I'll just go D. Um, let's see, how many do we have? We've got two, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's say eight or more digits, and we want to replace that with uh, just a XXX, okay, and we need to tell it that that's a regular expression, okay. You can see that where there were eight digits there, um, that just got replaced with XXX. Um, we could do a regular expression that's just anything that's not a digit and replace that with a Z. Um, okay, oops, I need to tell that, that that was a regular expression. Edit, uh, find is a regular expression. Okay, okay. So now anything that wasn't a digit is now replaced with Z, 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 Z. Um, obviously, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go to my find and replace and just say, hey, you know, this one, let's remove that. This other one, replacing the eight digits, let's remove that, okay. We can see we're back to this. And now if I just say finish, it just renamed all those files in place. So super fantastic, really powerful uh, renaming utility. Um, I highly recommend it. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe so you uh, don't miss the next one. And thank you for watching.